What is true evil? When I was in kindergarten, I vaguely remember a little girl in my class who suddenly stopped coming to school. Later, I overheard my family talking, and that's when I found out what happened. The girl lived next door to an old woman who had planted a goji berry tree in front of her house. It was a weekend, and the little girl was playing outside, probably with her toys or pretending to play house, when she noticed the goji berries, bright, ripe, and tempting. She picked a small handful, ate a few, and squashed some others on the ground, just playing around. The old woman, who had been out collecting recyclables, came home and saw the girl messing with her precious berries. Furious, she started yelling at the girl, hurling insults like, you're a disgrace, raised without any manners, and even going as far as to curse her, saying, you won't live long. The little girl burst into tears, crying loudly by the gate. Her mother, who had been inside doing laundry, rushed out to protect her daughter, and a shouting match broke out between her and the old woman. The whole neighborhood came out to calm things down, and after a long while, everyone finally went back inside thinking it was just another petty neighborhood fight. You might think that the old woman, holding a grudge, would find a way to harm or even kill the little girl. But no, let me tell you what happened next. After that day, the girl's family and the old woman stopped talking to each other. It seemed like just another feud between neighbors. A few weeks later, the old woman passed away. Word spread that she had suffered a sudden stroke and died alone in her small house. It wasn't until the local community welfare committee came by to deliver food to her that they found her shriveled body. She had no children and no close family, so a distant nephew from out of town came to handle her funeral. After the funeral, the nephew and his family stayed to clean up her house, busy with the task. The nephew's young son played by the front gate, just as the little girl once had. By evening, when most of the work was done, the nephew and his wife stepped outside to check on their son. To their horror, they found him lying by the ditch, vomiting black blood. The boy had accidentally eaten the goji berries from the tree in front of the old woman's house. After an investigation, the police discovered that the entire goji berry tree had been sprayed with an abnormally high dose of pesticide, so much that it wasn't even a normal application. The boy survived after being rushed to the hospital, but his body was left with long-term damage due to the poisoning, severely affecting his growth and health. As for the little girl, her mother quickly connected the dots. She realized that the old woman must have poisoned the berries, intending to harm her daughter. She remembered seeing dead birds near the tree in the days following the argument. Without hesitation, the family moved away. It's lucky the little girl had been obedient. Her mom had told her never to touch that goji tree again after their fight with the old woman, and the girl had listened. If it had been me as a child, I probably would have gone back the next day and eaten every last one of those berries. So yeah, sometimes you really should listen to your mom.